Good morning, everyone. Today is the 21st of Vlogmas. I am tired of elf, if you cannot tell. Uh, I didn't go to sleep till about three this morning. It's always it's always hard for me to get up and move around, or it's hard for me to get to sleep after Jay Lee, because it's like me having to go to sleep without Jay. Um, Julian is already ready. I'm looking for my watch. Uh, I think I took it off last night because it got wet in the shower. And uh, the band was itching. I'm gonna suck it out. Don't ask me why I didn't just uh, still at least put it on charger. That's Juju, man. I think he all comfortable in my bed. He's gonna get some cough medicine. Alright y'all, it's like 7 o'clock on the dot. We finally got done. I need to put them on some uh, <laughs> lotion on their face, especially him because his uh, face be dry. That's Juju. And they little bags right there. Yeah, he think he's wrong. I bought too many of these. I bought like four of these and I don't want them to fit in his backpack today. I have no clue, no idea how I got two to fit uh, yesterday, but can't get them to fit today. So I'm gonna try to, I ain't gonna try. I'm going to uh, get Jackson some cough medicine. I really don't think it works, but I'm gonna give him this. And I'm gonna try to brush his teeth. They only two, so hopefully he do right. All right, y'all. So it's 17 a.m. I look like shit. I feel like shit. I'm sleepy as hell. Um, I just got through brushing Jackson to little teeth, brushing Julian to putting this on my face. And I just need to take the stickers off of Julian pants, but he's so knee deep in Paw Patrol. I don't even really want to mess with him. Uh, the bus should be pulling up within the next five, three to five minutes. Five or ten minutes, I don't know. This man be sometimes he be here at seven o'clock on the dot, seven oh eight, seven oh five. He's never later than seven twenty. So yeah, I just have him ready by seven. Oh, and I was gonna be like. I was gonna ask, what do y'all use on y'all kids' hair that's like extremely dry? Cause Julian hair is like extremely dry, no matter what we put on it. Uh, I don't know if I should start using that shea butter, whatever that Jay have to repair damaged hair. Cause uh, Julian is the only kid that I have ever had to have cradle cap and his hair just haven't grew back the same. And like, I know a lot of beauticians say it's no such thing as nappy hair, but I don't know, but it is, it's like, curly and when you put stuff on it it tightens up the curl so yeah but then it still be hard and dry so i don't know jay got him this i put this on it it didn't soften it up or none of that when we put the stuff on our hair like you know the what's that Kento? i got the charlotte's daughter crap i put that on his hair last night it didn't soften it up i don't know if i just gotta keep using it or what and i haven't tried the shea butter that jay have here go that bush out. Well, come on, take your brother instead. This boy. Come on, dude. You ready? You ready? Are you ready? Come on. Yeah, does that, uh, that honey, honey and dark ivory? by whoever it is they got the regular version off-brand version all that 
uh, do that extra work for y'all one y'all for them to stop coughing? Cause like every doctor or pediatrician say that honey is the best thing to loosen up the mucus and this, this, that, and the third. But like Jackson still be coughing. It does absolutely nothing. But Julian has like cough medicine and stuff like that. It does nothing. Like it just, it doesn't even help with the symptoms. Cause I know medicine don't do anything but help with the symptoms. But at the same time, they don't have no, uh, they keep calling it like a upper respiratory infection and like saying, or a viral infection and keep saying that that just has to pass as course, especially the viral infections, but the upper respiratory infection is probably due to the viral infection that they don't get rid of. Like, it's not normal for your kid just to stay sick and I don't know, it's just not normal for them to stay with a cough. Jackson had a cough before he got his shot, so yeah. And like, how long do y'all kids have to... Do y'all give kids Motrin after they shots? Like, I don't know. Jackson be hurting if he just be being spoiled. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And while I'm up here just rambling, I have no idea what today's video is going to be about. I don't have no idea how much footage you guys are going to have. Like, this video legit probably be less than 10 minutes just because I really don't have nothing to talk about. I probably fall back asleep most of today. And end up still not being able to clean up the house until they get home. Like, I don't know. But like I said, I didn't get up to like, I didn't get up. I didn't fall asleep to like 3, 4 this morning. Then I kept waking up like, y'all, it's just hard to go to sleep after Jay. Like, after Jay come here and it'd be all comfortable and feeling safe. Like, it's just, I don't know, it's weird. But we don't, I don't never fall right back to sleep. <sighs> so y'all cousin just got back home. <laughs> and cheese. No, why he always want to stick out his tongue? Ooh. Yeah, he want to be in my room and my bed, messing up my room and stuff. But still messing with stuff. Look at him. Got the insurance cards. Let me put in our business on Snapchat. Not Snapchat. YouTube. That's okay. fine. Thank you. Yeah, I got a fucking makeup bump. Like the hell. Good thing it ain't a, the good thing it don't look like a cold sword then a cold sword and everybody gonna be hollering I hate Herbie or some shit. You don't know that I'm slowly taking everything off the bed. Yeah, this is what he does on my own. Bye bye. Bye bye, Juju. Turn off the light. Night night. I'm gonna show y'all what JJ's doing. I'm talking about come home and be out of there. I spelled your name with your pepperonis. Don't come for me. I know I'm not the only person that does that irritate the hell out your child just to make sure they still breathe because they look too damn peaceful. Yeah. I'm that mom. All right, y'all. I told y'all that this video was going to be short. I'm going to try to make it at least 15 minutes, maybe. I didn't do nothing today. Um, I didn't schedule myself to work or any of that. So I didn't do anything today. Um... I slept because y'all know I didn't go to sleep till like, well, yeah, I didn't go to sleep till like 3, 4 this morning. And then I kept getting woken, woken up. Like the maintenance man had caught, came around 9. Like when I when I did get the boys on the van, like around 7.30, I still stayed up to like 8, 30, 9 o'clock. As soon as I was going to sleep, I heard him slamming all the doors and coming and knocking on things. So he finally fixed my hot water, y'all. I cannot stand to take a shower with cold water. Like I cannot stand to take a two or three minute shower. And I take showers because the only time I take a bath is if I'm using like El Espen salt and I'm going to do a body scrub or something like that and I do that like every other day I don't do that every day but and then when I do that I turn around in the morning and take a shower because I feel like the tub is just you're just sitting in your dirt hence why you have a ring in your tub after you get out of it but the shower all the dirt is coming out going down the drain like you just got to clean the bottom of your tub 
Uh, but I still can't stand and take a cold shower. And I've been taking like a two, three minute, three, four, five, five minutes at the max showers. And like, no, like that's not. Nah. So he came to fix that. He tightened my toilet. He fixed the smoke detector. And I think after Christmas, maybe after the new year, they would be bringing me my filter because he's supposed to buy it, but he forgot about it. I'm not really tripping. Um, Jay's in Houston. Jay and Jalen is in Houston. They coming back in town. I don't know if we like I on yesterday's vlog y'all saying that we was looking at ugly sweaters or whatever. I don't know if we're gonna do ugly sweaters to go to Jay's parents uh Christmas Eve dinner or whatever. So I don't know. I know what the boys wearing, they don't wear what they wore to take pictures, which is that plaid, that black and white plaid shirt or whatever. I think they call it buffalo print, that could be wrong, but yeah. Me and Jay been talking about business today. Uh like I said, I still have yet to like, I want to sleep, but I haven't just been able to sleep, sleep, but it's just, it's just been one of those days, y'all. It's just been hell. I actually got myself together because I supposed to have been pre-vlogging, but as y'all know, it's like late and the boys are still awake. I think it's like nine to the o'clock at night. I think it's like at least nine at night and they're still awake. What time is it? 10.08 and they're still awake and I'm not tripping because they're going to be out a whole week, so whatever um and yeah i'm that type of parent like i'm not gonna keep you on schedule when you have no reason to be on schedule like whenever you fall out and go to sleep it's when you fall out and go to sleep i'm still awake so whatever um i just want to talk to you guys about something else uh oh yeah i think my i think i'm going to launch my site um on the first of uh not the first the middle of january like I'm having a lot of good things happen in January, so I think I'm going to launch in January. I don't think I want to wait till February. I think I'm going to launch in January. And all the clothes and women's outfits, I took all this stuff off because to me, it just was too high. Like, it was just too expensive. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that I wouldn't pay that much for it, but I wouldn't pay that much for it, you know? Like, it, it wouldn't be one of my first things, so like, for the styles and stuff like that. Like, some of them was, like, actually cute, and but some of them wasn't, like, as cute as they can be, so... I'm going to wait till I have enough money to be able to wholesale. Um, not wholesale, but I'm going to be able to buy it at wholesale price to resell it or whatever. Because the only thing that would have went was the shoes. And I don't like to not be able to contact the fulfillment company that I'm doing business with. Because I don't know when people's stuff is shipping out. And like, nah, that's, that's not even a good look. That's not a cool look. So I'm not going to do that. Um, so, so far on my website, it's just going to be hoodies uh crop top hoodies and uh jay jay wants me to do a trucking shirt and i got one of those on there like a dude shirt um and i think i got one other unisexual thing on there unisexual <laughs> unisex uh hoodie on there i got matter of fact i got two of them then i got the one that jay wanted that he ordered one he was like my first customer y'all like dude is so supportive of everything that i do um what else? I think I got a phone case on there. Phone cases. I might do some throw pillows and uh, coffee mugs. Like, that's what I'm going to do. I can do all that through Printful. They will fulfill them. When I called them today to see what was going on with Jay Order, they was able to tell me. Unlike these other companies that I was going to go through with fulfillment, like, nah. And whatever else I launch or whatever, it's going to be wholesale. I'm going to buy wholesale and then resell and I'm not going to do it, you know, I, uh, basically, I'm going to have to do the work. I'm going to have to get the products and learn how to do shipping labels and all that stuff and ship out people's merchandise for, like, any other anything else that I want to, you know, uh, sell, basically. But, like, I know Printful is going to be good as far as with that. I know that they have good customer service. I can call them, see what's going on with whatever order, and they'll let me know what's going on. And the other... And the other uh, fulfillment companies that I had, like dropship companies that I was going through, like they legit was not answering the phone. And like, if you can't answer my questions and I'm paying for the service, like I'm not going to sit here and launch a website for somebody else to sit here and buy something. And when they buy something, where's my tracking number and all that, this stuff. And can't nobody tell me what's going like, 
nah, y'all y'all can't answer the phone for me. So I know with these tracking numbers and with all this stuff, like I'm the type of person since I order something, I want to track it. I want to know what's my tracking number. Like I'm that type. Of, I'm that girl. Like I need to know that. So like I know other people are like that because we live in a microwave society. Like people want stuff to happen like that. And with me being a new company, I don't need no hangups, no stacks, no none of that. So yeah. But I think somewhere in the middle of well, I don't even I think I know somewhere in the middle of uh, January, I'm gonna come out with more stuff. I can't necessarily even say that I still want to do clothes because there's so many clothes companies that's just popping up. So it might not be the, it might not be that, but it's still gonna be something beauty related. So I guess just keep your eyes out. Oh, eyes out, eyes open for that. But yeah, yeah, I just want to come on here and kind of chit chat with you guys and like close the vlog or whatever because. The footage y'all have, y'all just had like my morning routine and when I got the boys back and I really didn't do nothing in between because I was on the phone with Jay or I was sleeping. I really didn't have a productive day like today just wasn't my day. Uh, I think Jay either gonna be back, Jay gonna be back tomorrow either early in the morning or in the evening. But yeah, this video is going long so be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe because it's free. The little button down there, just go ahead and hit it. Join the family. I appreciate if you come back. See you guys on the next video. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram and to subscribe to the Hubby channel. Peace.